down here by the Betsy Ross Bridge right there as you can see that's the Betsy Ross and I found these three little pipes so I just nailed them to the tree with a rock and made me some rod holders pretty neat holds the rod up pretty good fish can't take the rod I nailed them suckers right to the fucking wood Conveniently, somebody left nails and pipes out here. So I got three rods out. I got this one, the small one, for some bait fish. This one for some either cat or carp or, or striper. And this one too, on this side of the tree. But this one on this side of the tree. As you can see, it's very convenient that way. That way my lines don't get all tangled up. I don't catch any hardly any snags. But look at this view. Look at that. Betsy Ross Bridge, the new one. That's the old one over here. That's the old Betsy Ross. That's the new one. That's the new bridge that they built. Spanking new. Look at that big bird. Whatever the hell that thing is. There's a lot of birds around here. Waiting to get a bite. Hopefully she get a bite pretty soon. These catfish over here are crazy. Called a crab. A little blue crab. There's a catfish that I caught right there already. It's a big boy. About three and a half pound. Three and a half pound cat. So I'm gonna bait the tackle behind a rock. Oh, let me show you the little blue crab. It's a little blue crab that I caught earlier in there you see him yeah, he's gonna bite me look ow little sucker little oh, sucker man little sucker Here's, here he is, tiny little blue crab that I caught earlier. The sucker on him. He bit the shit out of me too. Little sucker, me little sucker. Taking him home alive. Rods. The rods are out. One there, one there, and one here. Hopefully, I get something nice on on them. I'm using uh, what you call it, uh, eels, baby eels that I caught on the edge there, underneath the rocks. It's tons of them. This is a good spot because there's a lot of bait here. A lot of bait. 